With his first two movies, Deadpool displayed an irreverent take on the superhero genre by depicting an anti-hero with knowledge of the tropes and the mechanics of these cinematic universes. With this third film, Deadpool and Wolverine, he now enters the Marvel Cinematic Universe, although still with a foot in the door of his already established world. There is the expected fourth wall-breaking humor, but what's most intriguing about this entry is its remembrance of the films produced outside the franchise Kevin Feige has built. The meta-narrative here is about the way studios will sometimes treat some series, and that is a worthy discussion to have, which Deadpool and Wolverine explores in a fun way. At this point, Ryan Reynolds is already comfortable in Deadpool's red suit and continues to provide the quips the characters have come known for. Not every joke hits, but some chuckles do come, many through the times he speaks to the camera. Even more than the previous films, he shows a knowledge of the powers that be, who decide which films get produced, and that curiously plays into the overall narrative presented here. Even when given the ability to join the MCU, the filmmakers don't want to entirely destroy what came before. While some fans might feel that the super movies outside the MCU had a mixed track record, that does not mean that it does not exist those who do appreciate them. The movie throws in a lot of recognizable characters, some play for laughs, and others going more for drama. Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine as someone continually annoyed with Deadpool and his antics, and the odd couple pairing does work. There are a few points where he explodes in anger, and Jackman portrays those moments well. Sean Levy directs the action scenes with a lot of energy and a particular emphasis on needle drops. The opening title sequence starts the film on a solid note, and there are other entertaining set pieces throughout. The story itself is a standard one, and the villains are not exactly ones to write home about. They mostly serve a purpose to propel the story forward, but it's really the heroes that capture one's interest. The dramatic scenes do take time away from the comedic moments, and it feels like we've been here before with Wolverine, but they don't distract too much. The film also incorporates the Time Variance Authority from the Disney Plus series Loki, but it manages to handle them in a way that will still make sense to those who have not watched that show, and it uses that setting to explore where the Deadpool can find his place within the MCU. Of all the Deadpool movies made thus far, this strangely has the most affection for what came before. That a lot of the jokes people have come to expect from this character, and Ryan Reynolds continues to bring energy to the role. However, it's mainly a movie about the way studios view franchises, both the successful ones and the ones that failed with audiences. When the latter happens and is discarded away, that does not necessarily mean viewers will forget about them. That's the core message of Deadpool and Wolverine, which is a nice one to have, even in a film full of jokes about nether regions and slicing people at every opportunity.